Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, warshippers of all ages, welcome to YouTube. My name is Sea Raptor, and today we're bringing you a first look at forthcoming Tier 10 Premium German Battleship. This is Mecklenburg. Now, Mecklenburg is a very, very interesting ship, right? Wargaming in recent years, um, you know, with Tier 10 Battleships has kind of had this this incremental escalation. More guns, bigger guns, bigger guns, way bigger guns, right? All the way up to, we've got some really ridiculous calibers available now when you look at Shikishima and Incomparable as an example, right? 20-inch guns available. Mecklenburg, though, takes that and goes in the other directions. More guns, yes, but smaller caliber. In fact, Mecklenburg here has the smallest caliber guns of any tier 10 battleship currently available in World of Warships. These are 305 millimeter guns on her main battery. But what she lacks in caliber, she makes up for in quantity. Have a look at this. Eight forward, eight aft, 16 barrels of fun, ladies and gentlemen, right here. So, um, yeah, now is that going to be worth it with the vaunted German dispersion on battleships? Well, I might have some good news for you there, and let's uh, let's get into this, and we'll we'll take a peek. First things first, survivability, eighty five thousand eight hundred hit points. Now this is very clearly not best in tier, right? There are a lot of tier ten battleships in the hundred thousand ish hit point range, okay? But as far as the Germans go, this is fairly respectable. If you enjoy the play style of, let's say, the new German uh, battlecruiser branch, which is Schlieffen, the tier ten uh, the tier ten German battleship over in that line. Um, this is more hit points, base hit points than Schlieffen. Almost 10,000 more hit points, just shy of 10,000 more hit points. Um, and we'll talk about this in a minute, but Mecklenburg is a little less stealthy, but she's a little more beefy, so that she's got that going for her. Um, so there you see 85,800 uh, hit points, not too shabby. This is this kind of puts her in the same range as Conqueror, right? I mean, so she's going to be a little more resilient than that. Her armor is better than Conqueror, don't get me wrong. But if you're looking for like a total health pool, that's kind of where you're at. 20% torpedo protection is bad. It's bad. It's not worse than tier. Incomparable exists, but you're basically one step above that. So um, yeah, don't take torpedoes. That's bad in this ship. Armor layout. If you're familiar with the armor layouts of most of the tier 10 German battleships, Mecklenburg is going to seem very, very familiar. She's got a 70 millimeter bow strake that goes all the way up to the bow. That should make her very difficult to uh, overmatch through the bow. You might be able to overmatch this plating right here, um, but certainly not if you hit if you hit her along the waterline. Her belt armor, 300, 300, sorry, 350 millimeters throughout. It tapers just a hair below the waterline, but you see here these two sections that encompass the waterline, both 350 millimeters. And then 50 millimeter deck armors, more or less throughout. That makes That's going to make her a little more resilient to traditional heavy cruiser fire falling onto her deck at longer ranges. You know, I'm looking at you, let's say, well, I would have said Hindenburg, but that's a bad analogy. Um, Zao, for example, or Des Moines, right? Um, those kinds of HE shells will shatter on this deck, so you've got that going for you. Does she have the vaunted German turtleback? She does not. She does not. Mecklenburg does not have a turtleback in here. However, she does have, as we've started to see in so many designs that have come out over the last few years, that spaced Citadel armor, right? So there's a giant gap in here between the torpedo bulge and the inner, the inner wall of the Citadel of the ship. Citadel also sitting quite low in the water. Let me see if I can get you a view of it here, kind of show you. There we go. That's probably about as good as it's going to get. It's right at the waterline. Like, it's right at the waterline. So, like most German battleships, even though she doesn't have the uh, turtle bag, and actually she probably does because it's going to be built into her casemate, right? Sometimes you see it on the Citadel, sometimes you don't. So she does have a little bit of a turtle bag going on here with this casemate armor. Between the space and the casemate and everything, um, she should be fairly robust at mid to short range in terms of taking Citadels. If you, again, if you've played German battleships, you're used to taking lots of full penetration damage, um, but probably not catastrophic citadel damage unless it's from an AP bomb dropped from above, and that is essentially more of what you're going to get here when you play Mecklenburg. So no real changes there. Maneuverability and concealment. 32.5 knots, 9.30 on the turning circle, 17.6 on the rudder shift. Um, 32.5 knots is... It's above average. It's above average for a tier 10. She's not as fast as Schlieffen, unfortunately. She she she's she doesn't take that crown away from uh from her tech tree cousin. But 32 and a half knots, pretty solid for tier 10. I mean, you're up there, Schlieffen is ahead of you, incomparable is ahead of you. Those are both 33 plus. 
And that's basically it. Borgogna is right behind you at 32. And there's a smattering of ships at 30. And then uh, from there on, we go down to the high 20s, all the way down to Vermont at 23. So this is a pretty quick battleship for Tier 10. Now, she's not going to outrun, you know, obviously Destroyer or most cruisers. But um, she is quite fast for a battleship over tier. That's nice to see. 930 on the turning circle is, eh, it's pretty average. Pretty average. She's going to handle like a battleship. Like, you're, you're going to drive like a battleship. There's nothing exciting there. And then 17.6 uh, on uh, the detection. Sorry, 17.6 on the rudder shift is eh, pretty average. Pretty average. Nothing to get excited about here. She's going to handle, handle pretty fat. It's just the way it's going to be. 17.1 on the uh, surface detection, I kind of got a lead of myself there, is, I'd say, a, a little below average, as you might expect for a ship that's going to kind of play like a battle cruiser, really. Um, but it's not anything to get super excited about. Full stealth rig Mecklenburg will right now get down to 13.4 stealth on the surface. That is well behind ships like Conqueror, Incomparable, Slava. Uh, what else is in front of her? Schlieffen <laughs> is better. Um uh Burgonia. so like she's got there's, there's there's at least a half dozen or seven or eight uh tier 10 battleships that are stealthier than this however you will outspot out most most things that outgun you which is good that'll give you the opportunity to either hopefully start your turn or decide whether or not you want to engage them and whatnot if you are in a kiting position 12.8 on the aerial detection i mean you're not hiding this thing from planes that's just the way it is Main battery. So let's get back to the main battery. Okay, let's talk about this for a minute because this main battery is very much unlike what we're used to seeing out of German battleships. For starters, the reload. 25 second reload on 305 millimeter guns. Okay, this is not quite the best reload of a tier 10 battleship. That that crown still falls to uh, Preussen, uh, her, again, her tech tree cousin, with significantly bigger guns. But of course, Preussen has literally half as many barrels. Eight barrels of 457 millimeter fun to Mecklenburg's 16 barrels of 305 millimeter fun. 22 kilometers of range is really solid, really solid for these guns. And look at that dispersion. The dispersion is going to fool you a little bit. You see there are 233 meters on the dispersion ellipse. That is, mm, that's above average. It's already a little above average. And here's the real kicker, guys. This ship has a 2.05 Sigma. There is no other battleship at this tier with a Sigma that high. There are a few in the... Well, I, I'm lying a little bit, right? The Japanese have 2.1, okay? Yamato gets 2.1. But there are a few ships in the 2.0 range, right? Again, incomparable, Thunderer, right? But with this many barrels, think about it. Ordinarily, what Wargaming does to balance a ship that has this many barrels is they give her a yeah, decent dispersion ellipse, but then they make her... Sigma value a little a little lower than you would expect, right? That way you're really just shotgunning shells into that that dispersion ellipse. But with a 2.05 Sigma, right, this thing is gonna feel like cruiser dispersion on battle cruiser guns. That's that sounds really nice to me on paper. I really like the sound of that. As someone who loves his Hindenburg far more than he probably should, I really like the sound of that. So I'm very, very intensely curious to see these guns in action. Very, very curious. Um, now, one ship we haven't mentioned, kind of comparing Mecklenburg to that we should have, is Brandenburg, the Tier 8 premium German ship. It looks very similar to this. Brandenburg, very obviously related to this design. Brandenburg has um, four triple turrets, so she has 12 barrels. Of course, Mecklenburg steps it up to four quadruple turrets, so she has 16 barrels. But other than that, these are the same guns as Mecklenburg, right? These are the same shells, the same shell velocities, um, everything. It's the same barrel, same gun, all of it. If you own a Brandenburg, you're used to firing these guns, okay? Um, the German 305s, I think, only ever appear elsewhere on uh, Tier 9 Premium Cruiser Eiger. In fact, let me go have a check of something, because if I'm willing to bet you that if I go pull Eiger's numbers, that we're going to find the dispersion is very, very similar. Let's have a check. Iger is 305 millimeter guns. Yep, these same guns on a 18 and a half kilometer range, 203 max dispersion. I don't have her Sigma, but she'll have cruiser dispersion. So yeah, yeah, this main battery, by the time you pump it out, 230, that, that feels about right, yeah. So these these guns, If you, again, so if you own an Iger or a Mecklenburg, right? I'm sorry, an, a Brandenburg, you fired this these guns, right? But 
uh, you're getting accuracy that is going to be closer to Iger's than to Brandenburg's. So there's a lot to like about this main battery. It has a lot of potential, um, even with the HE shells, right? German HE, German battleship HE is not really known for its fire starting capacity and its immense damage, right? But when you're throwing 16 shells, something's going to stick, especially 16 shells that actually hit what you aim them at. Secondary armament, this is also quite a nice spread. She's got six of these double-barreled 128s running down each side of the ship. These are dual-purpose turrets. You can see there from uh, their, their ability to raise way up into the air. 61 calibers on 8.3-kilometer range and a four-second reload. 32 millimeters of penetration out of these guns means that you probably don't need IFHE on these, on these barrels. In fact, IFHE probably only gets you one of their eight millimeters of pen up to 40. Probably not worth it. Probably not worth it, but you can you can easily invest in um, I don't know uh, def uh, some 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 uh, secondary skills if you wanted. She is still a German battleship. Uh, you're if you have a secondary build captain for your poison, for example, this would be a, maybe a great place to to bring bring that captain over and try out his full secondary build Mecklenburg. I think it could be made to work. Right, these secondaries should go out to what is it tier ten for Germans? Twelve and a half. I think it's twelve and a half. And then with those kind of reloads, those kind of penetrations, you will absolutely ruin some poor heavy cruiser players day if he wanders too close and you'll do you'll do really really good things to opposing destroyers that get lit up as well so main, there's a lot to like on the artillery side about the ship the main battery on paper looks really solid secondary armament quite noteworthy now as you've probably gathered by now mecklenburg does come with torpedo she's got a single quad launcher amidships on each side of the ship if you've driven any german cruiser in the game you are used to these torpedoes these are the same quad launchers you'll find on Hindenburg and Rune. Six kilometer torpedoes on a 90 second reload, 13.7 on the Alpha, 64 knots of speed. So these are meant to be exact same torps you'd find on, on say, Gneisenau, um, something like that. So again, they're, the, they're that upper cut punch. You can, if you can drive this ship into close, close enough proximity to an opposing battleship and survive the experience, you have that little uppercut punch that can, should be able to knock them out, providing that those torpedoes don't get knocked about on the way. And of course, that's always the risk with the German torpedo launchers. They're just out here on the deck, totally exposed to any old HE or secondary shell that falls along, wanders along. So, so yeah, got to keep that in mind. Um, I didn't talk about gun angles. Let's have a quick check of that while we're in here. Um, gun angles, yeah, this is not going to be encouraging, unfortunately. Uh, looks like we've got to go all the way to 47 degrees off this off the side of the ship to get all four turrets into action uh, up forward, and it looks like back aft it is 42 degrees. So she's a slight, she's slightly more protected while kiting than when charging. So what that means is, uh, if you're paying attention, is that um, starting past 45 degrees, incoming AP shells against a ship will generally perform ricochet checks. There are exceptions. Certain specific ships and, and tech trees and, and lines get exceptions to that. What that means is that if you're charging, uh, if you're moving, uh, moving forward and you're firing at somebody off your bow, like this, for example, you have to show them enough of an angle to get all of your barrels into action that if they fire back at you, their shells should not be making ricochet checks. Most many of their shells, at least, will not be making ricochet checks. So you're going to have to learn to wiggle this ship uh, get all your guns into action, pull the trigger, maybe get everything off, then then you know tuck back in and give them a slightly better angle. Might make improving that rudder shift, that 17.6 second rudder shift, a little attractive with the right uh, the right uh, uh, upgrade module, for example. A defense is also quite solid. Again, we're not looking, we're not talking best in tier numbers here, right? But I mean, there's a lot to like. For starters, you're looking at eight flak puffs, 16 10 damage a pop, which is quite respectable okay and 165 continuous dps in that outer ring that's really really nice it's not best in tier right but it is better than kerfurst and better than uh, better than poison uh schlieffen has more AA than this but of course schlieffen's long range bubble stops at 5.2 so mecklenburg uh debatably has uh, a bit more AA capacity there than schlieffen does it's that mid-range and that inner aura on the back of the, the 55 millimeter uh, Garats, which I just love those as mid-range guns on the German ships, and then the 30 millimeter Flax that really kick it up a notch to give, to give Mecklenburg, honestly, what amounts to the best AA suite of any tier 10 German battleship. Now, again, you are still behind the AA specialists in the game. I'm looking at you, Montana and Vermont, right? But... Um, this a this AA suite is, I'd say, in over in terms of overall DPS, 
roughly equivalent to that of mm, Kremlin. Or, well, it certainly is better than Yamato. Let's look at something else in the tech tree that I'm co you're comparable to. <sighs> Kremlin's really the likeliest, the likeliest parallel I can draw. Kremlin has a larger outer bubble and a little, and a little better flak, but uh, Mecklenburg's AA numbers get significantly better uh, on the on the inner and mid range. So, yeah, there's a lot to like in the AA defense here. You're definitely going to shoot down planes as long as they're not coming in from a super carrier. Cough, cough, cough. Uh, let's have, a, of course, I'll, I'll mention it briefly. She does have the standard uh, depth depth charging airstrike against submarines. Yay. Um, let's have a look at the consumables list. Shouldn't be any surprises over here. Let me get it to come up here. There we go. All right, so, of course, we're a ship in World of Warships. We get a damage control party. We are a tier 10 battleship. We get a nice pretty heal. We get a choice between spotting aircraft or fighter out of our aerial air, out of our aircraft facilities, which... If memory serves, we're midships. We'll go check that here in a minute as we head out the door, but I'm pretty sure they were midships. With 22 kilometers of range, I don't know that you're going to need the spotting aircraft, but I tell you, with a 2.05 Sigma, this is going to, you're going to be able, like, you can probably snipe things with this ship. You will surprise somebody. If you take spotting aircraft into the right match, the right situation, sooner or later, you will surprise somebody. And let's be honest, these days, the fighter doesn't do a whole lot at tier 10. And then you don't get Hydro. That's unfortunate, but you do get Defensive Fire. Now, that is actually quite nice. Again, her AA suite is really solid. This is going to ramp it up a notch. This is not a ship that you're going to be excited to attack as an opposing aircraft aircraft carrier player. Um, however, if you're an opposing destroyer, you might salivate a little bit because this guy, unlike most of Tier 10 German battleships, does not have access to Hydro Acoustic Search. And yeah, there are those aircraft facilities right there midships. So yeah, guys, there is Mecklenburg. I man, again, I say this again. As a fan of Hindenburg, I feel like there's a lot to like about this ship. It's it's like somebody took an. I mean, I, as much as I love Iger, right? It's like taking an Iger and a and a Brandenburg maybe, and kind of meshing them together and up tiering it, right? You've got the turret layout of a of a Brandenburg with a higher barrel count, but with an accuracy that's more akin to a cruiser. So that's going to feel really, really good. Again, you've still got the torpedo, uh, the torpedo. Uh, available to you so you've got that little uppercut punch you can deliver um her AA is really solid which is good she's not gonna be hiding from planes with her aerial detection um but she does lack the hydro and has no option to take it so it's gonna be you know pushing with this ship is gonna be a matter of choosing the right time place and situation so that you don't get torpedoed off the board anyway guys there's our first look at tier 10 premium german battleship mecklenburg hope you enjoyed that wash your hands be safe and i'll catch you next time